I have managed to turn my crusty dusty stock steam deck into a beautiful fluffy monster on steroids and it is perfect. I seriously could not ask for more. I'll show you the best steam OS tweaks that you can do and then I'll also show you windows. Guys, you can dual boot this crap so easily. I'm telling you, it is the easiest thing on the planet. I'll show you windows tweaks that make your performance night and day, as well as other miscellaneous tweaks to make your Steam Deck perfect. I don't get any bugs. My gameplay is ridiculously smooth. I can play Modern Warfare and any other game that I want that's not normally compatible, all from a few tricks of which I will show you. I've had no issues installing or using anything. It just works. So let's go. Straight off the bat, you can see how pretty it is as opposed to the default UI. If you don't have Decky Loader, get it now. It is the hub for plugins that take your Steam Deck to the next level. I can make my Steam Deck look like this. Eh, that's too much. Let's tone it down. How freaking cool. This plugin is called CSS Loader, and I'm telling you, it is the bee's knees, you gotta get it. It changes the way you feel about your Steam Deck so much. There's so many different themes to choose from and some of them are a little crazy and some are just like simple, clean and beautiful. Now this may be hard to tell through the camera but my screen is freaking vivid. It looks like a Samsung OLED. This plugin is called Vibrant Deck and my gosh does it do the job. It plays such a huge role. In fact, when I turn the plugin off, my Steam Deck looks like it's been struggling to pay rent at a graveyard. I personally set the saturation to 180. Anything past that can look a little too crazy and unrealistic, um, but you do it how you want. As you can see here, you can change the gamma, red, green, blue. There's a few different settings in here, but gosh, you need to have it. This next plugin is called Animation Changer. And yeah, you can set your boot animations however you want. There are so many to download. My favorite is this little cyberpunk one. You can go as crazy as a freaking Rick roll. I saw a Breaking Bad one in there. Like, you can get funny with them too. I tend to keep my plugins simple because SteamOS is awesome alone. But Steam Deckers, this is where it gets serious. I like to play Modern Warfare 2. I like to mod Skyrim, maybe a little bit of Battlefield or PUBG. Maybe you have some other games that the Steam Deck isn't compatible with. It is, okay? Say you're a new Steam Decker and some of your favorite games are not available and the idea of installing Windows is a little bit too intimidating. Or you got the 64 gig base model, whatever it is. Check this out. The way I have dual booted Steam OS and Windows is so freaking easy. You don't need a computer, you don't need dongles, you don't need a USB or any of that crap. All you need is just a micro SD card and your Steam Deck. That's it. Follow the tutorial I made, links in the bio. Guys, it's so easy. There's no risk because you can just format the SD card if you don't like it. But hear me out. Once you have Windows, there are tweaks you can do to amplify the Steam Deck's performance. I'm talking 60 frames per second ultra settings on Modern Warfare 2. And because my Steam Deck has Windows just sitting in the micro SD card, there are zero limitations to what my Steam Deck can do. So here we are with Windows. So the first performance tweak is very big. It's actually very useful. It's adjusting the VRAM. So all you gotta do is just turn off your device. Now that it's shut down, you have to boot into the BIOS mode. So hold down the volume up button, click on the power button, but don't let go of the volume. And here we are inside the BIOS. Once we're here, you're gonna go to set up utility, go to advanced, go all the way down to UMA buffer size. By default, it's at one, set it to four. Click A, exit out, and just click continue. Windows takes a bit of CPU power to run. And to kind of lift that load off so you can have more room for your games, simply go to about, Advanced, Performance, turn these all off, copy these settings. Now your processor doesn't have to work that hard to run Windows and all of its little twerky features. It can now focus on the games more so. Next, we're gonna change our virtual RAM. This also plays a large role in performance. Advanced, Virtual Memory. Set memory to 10,000 minimum, then the second one to 11,000. Press apply and restart your Steam Deck. Okay guys, now you've applied all of this, right? Zoom back out. 
We have SteamOS on freaking steroids. It's so pretty and cool. And then we also have Windows on steroids. You don't have to like and sub if you don't want to, but guys, it would be awesome if you did. You're part of the Steam Deck Nation. I love making these videos, guys. They are fun to do. So many, many more to come.